We're getting there. We finally got those steak pockets in and got them welded up last night. We had to wait till the evening because it's the heat wave going on here in mid July of 2020. But we got them all steak pocketed on or welded on and primered over. It's uh, in the morning, 11 o'clock. It was already hot. So we're going to wait till this evening, give that time to cure. Or we were short one on the front. Now we're all fixed up. Rubber all the way around. We've got, you can see on this side, we got, we got most of the, one of us was welding, the other of us were working on the deck. We got, we finally quit about 10 o'clock. We got to the point where we have to do the ripping. Too long, too short. And then the next day we'll, we'll get everything wired up. We've got the ramps to paint and finish, but that could be done inside during the heat of the day. So it's getting there. You can see the ramp rails. They're all tucked away. And we got to put our cap over the end there to protect the wood and make it so that everything has room to expand and contract, contrast, basically. So probably the next time we come back at you, He'll be showing you a completed trailer. Sometimes Mother Nature has other plans. Three welds short of being done. And that happened. Actually, we still got all the wiring to do yet, too. But the deck's on. Rub rails repainted. So now it's time for wiring the new tires. There we go. All said and done. Upper deck is almost nine feet, eight foot in the center. We got our minimum California DOT lights so we can go all over the country. The only thing we've got left to do is new tires and rims. They'll hold. I mean, they're underrated for this size of trailer, but a couple of side-by-sides it won't be a problem, so they're going to stay that way for a while. We have the ramp to paint. Other than that, we are good to go. All the lights do work. They shut off because the door's closed. Stake pockets, gussets, all the boards are screwed down. All of the conduit is run up in flexible conduit, or I don't know if you can see that, in hard conduit. I'll show you up under the deck. It's got the drill adapter. See so yeah, there's hard conduit there, junction box, bite box. Runs across to one of the markers. Come over to the other side. There's the other two markers. And on down the line. We're going to put a spare tire rack eventually in the front. But there we have it. About two weeks of work. 60 hours of labor between three of us. So almost 200 hours. And we got a brand new trailer. Oh, well, she's getting her maiden voyage in. Towing like a dream. Boys did good work.